Okay, everyone, just in the past hour, Boeing 787 Dreamliner landed at O'Hare International Airport in Chicago. And this was the aircraft's first commercial flight here in the state since it was grounded just three months ago. The CEOs of United Continental and Boeing, they were both on that flight. And guess who also happened to be on that flight? My co-host, Adam Johnson. Adam, uh, how was it? I'm a happy guy, Trish. Let me tell you, this has been such an exciting day. Yes, it was kind of fun for me, but it's really been exciting for Boeing and United to finally, finally get this airplane uh, off the ground. I tell you, the first thing you notice when you walk in, Trish, it's really different. You walk into the fuselage and it's much higher, it's much wider. They were able to do that because it's a composite frame. It's, it's one big giant piece of, of plastic, one big tube. And as a result, uh, it, that creates extra strength, so they're able to make the windows 30% uh, wider. Again, they're able to make the ceiling higher. They have new filters so that the air is actually moist. What a concept, right, when you're flying in an airplane. They dim the light so that it's a very soothing shade of kind of purple and blue. They change the colors over the course of the flight, and it's incredibly quiet. They have stealth technology on the engine cowlings. Um, it's, it's just so different. As we were taking off, Trish, I, I turned to the person next to me and we were having a regular conversation. Then we realized, oh, wait a minute, we're taking off. It should be loud right now. But it's not. Ultimately, this thing, by the way, consumes 30% less fuel. So it's not just that it, it looks and feels different. It actually operates differently. You know, Adam, given that there had been all those battery concerns, what do you think the response amongst the public is going to be for these aircraft? Well, you know, I asked Jim McNearney, the CEO of Boeing, in flight. He and I had an interview. I'll be playing that uh, for you and for everyone else later. I reminded him of the conversation you and I had with Sir Richard Branson last week, who, who described this as a gigantic problem, were his exact words, uh, for Virgin. And I said to Jim McNerney of Boeing, I said, how do you keep a guy like Sir Richard Branson happy? He said, you know, Adam, it's been really hard, but people have been loyal because they know that this airplane is so revolutionary that, it, that it's 30% more efficient to operate. It consumes 20% less fuel. He said, that was the payoff. He said, it took us a long time to get there, and he apologized to everybody. He said, you know, I'm sorry, but a lot of people have stuck with us, and Jeff Smysik of um, Continental, whom I also interviewed uh, during the flight, said, we're now able to run the, the, run the airline much more as a business. We can, we can tweak the way we cover routes in ways we couldn't before because this airline is so flexible and it's so much more efficient. And that's the key. That's why companies like Continental are making money in ways they were not able to several years ago, Trish. Was it a crowded flight, Adam? Totally jammed. Granted, there were a few guys like me, people who uh, are with the media, uh, people who simply love airplanes and had booked this flight because it was the inaugural flight. But it was also um, a flight of just regular business people going from Houston to Chicago. Some of the people on the airplane didn't even know that this was going to be a 787. It was a, a festival atmosphere. And everyone I talked to, both the people who intended to be there as well as the ones who just got lucky all said the same thing it's a totally totally different experience it's really quiet it's really comfortable and as Jeff Smysik said to me it is the future for Continental and as uh, Jim McNearney of Boeing said to me it's also the future of Boeing he said you will see that same technology ultimately in 737s the small short haul aircraft wow.